Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm sorry if you can hear any traffic in the background, it should be minimal and quite quiet, hopefully. Um, I'm basically in the car doing a voiceover in a car park, which is nothing new these days. So I'm just doing a video here with this client. She is on my channel quite often. The video that the set that I'm removing was recorded and is on a video on my channel. So you can definitely check that out if you want to see how I did that one. Um, but here I'm just removing the bulk of the nails and also the previous design and any lifting that there is. This client always has lifting. I explain it in every single one of her videos, but she does a lot of decorating. She's got a very hands-on job um, and she does take down the length herself quite a lot of the time, which obviously breaks the... <clears throat> seal between her natural nail and all of the the gel layers on top basically that i create so that's what that, that's what happens there but it's fine um we always just fix it <laughs> it's one of those she always has length taken off anyway even the times when she's reduced them herself because she likes them really short so typically the lifting is on the free edge and we're taking the length down anyway so it's not really the end of the world because I have to do bulk anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. This was a bit of a pointless task, um, this part of removing her previous design, because we then decided that we're going to do a glitter fade with gold, and she wanted like a nice nude, and obviously the builder that I use at the moment on her is pink, and we didn't want a pink base, because these were black tie event nails um, that she hadn't actually chosen an outfit for yet, but she knew she was wearing gold jewellery. So we went with a gold glitter fade and we didn't want it on pink. We wanted it on a nude background. So I actually, after this stage, uh, as you can see here, there's next to no builder done on the nails at all. And that is because I went back in with a different bit and removed the excess gel so we could go in with a different coloured builder gel without seeing any of the pink underneath because the one I went with on top wasn't a completely opaque one, whereas the pink is, so it would show through slightly and look a bit patchy. We didn't want that, of course. So I'm just going in with my Anastasia bit now and removing any excess skin from the nail plate in the cuticle area and sidewall areas. Um, so yeah, just using this to push the cuticles back and get rid of that dead skin. And then we're going to go over with a sanding band just to make sure that everything is nice and rough, ready for the application of the gel. Um, and getting off any extra bits of gel that are left over because obviously I didn't want to get every single speck off with my carbide bit because I don't want to cause any damage or anything I'm also just using this just underneath the nail to make sure that because I've took off length I'm getting rid of any excess nail that's underneath the nail um, and then yeah once I've done that we can go in with application so I'll start with primer which is of course from nail order because that is what they recommend with their gel products and then once I've done that we can go in with builder gel so I'll just let you watch now until we get to the builder gel section Okay, so it turns out I actually forgot to show the primer on camera, but I don't usually forget. So, you know, if there's nothing exciting, I literally just put some primer on every nail. Um, I'm just going in with, so usually I'd use Divine Nail Order Angel Builder Gel on this client, but this is Cherub in the Angel Builder Gel as well. Um, like I said, we just wanted something more nude. It's, it, nude, it's a beautiful colour, it goes with a lot. Um, it's nice to have a change every now and then as well. I've never put this on anyone I thought and that's not really your shade So it does really suit a lot of skin tones um, I can't say that I've worked on every single skin tone there is so I don't know if it suits everybody But it definitely is very inclusive So I'm just applying a really thin layer of this as my base layer and then I'm going to do the same thing again Quickly just as a slip layer and then apply a little bead at the cuticle area drag it down and then use my nail art brush my striper to move that around and make sure it's everywhere that I want it and make sure that the line of light is perfect and there's no like dips and stuff in the gel it's nice and smooth and then once I've done that on every single nail I will cure it uh, I will do four nails so I'll do pinky to index finger pop that hand in the lamp do the pinky to index on the other hand and then swap over and then do the thumbs like this hand thumb that I'll go in the lamp while I do the other hand thumb and then that I'll go in the lamp when this one comes out etc um, just because I don't like doing the thumbs at the same time, I like them to cure separately because I don't want to turn the hand while I do the thumb and then all of the fingernails, <coughs> sorry, all of the fingernails run to the side when I've just put them all exactly where I want them. And I also don't want the thumb to run to the side when I put it into the lamp and the underside not get properly cured. So that's how I do it. Um, and then, like I said, we're going to be doing a gold glitter fade. So I will show you, I don't think I showed you me mixing the glitter. 
um I can't remember off the top of my head what I actually used to be honest but it was a couple of different gold gel polishes and then a couple of different loose glitter polishes as well I have done a lot of glitter on my channel lately uh, so I know this is quite repetitive but this is slightly different because it is a client infill so I've still decided to film it and pop it on uh, but yeah I hope you enjoy this video I'm not going to actually talk through the rest of it because it is quite literally just pop some glitter on the free edge blend it back towards the cuticle area and then top coat it's super super easy they looked really effective and it was perfect because this client was late so she did say when she came in this is what I had in mind which is not very usual for her because I usually have to pick a nail for her but she'd got an idea but she did say like if if me being late has messed up the plans like you can do plain it's absolutely not a problem um but this is what I originally wanted and I said no that's fine glitter fades are like one of the quickest things to do anyway so it'll probably take me longer to paint your nails than it would to do a glitter fade so we did that just popping a couple of extra specks on top here to make sure it's super glittery and then that is it I just top coated after this so super easy very very quick this set took about an hour altogether for the infill and then the design and top coat so not very long at all so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching and i'll be back very soon with another one bye